What is going on guys, and there is uh, quite a lot to talk about today. It's going to be game plan crossfire using a sniper rifle with that new assassin weapon kit I picked up. Uh, a little bit more slow paced, but I did really good with it, and I think I think you're going to like it. So here we go. Variety map pack came out today. Not the map pack came out today. The trailer came out today for the variety map pack. And I'm, I already pre-ordered it. You already know. And with it came this epic theme with, with some, actually, I wasn't expecting this, it came with some different music from the original theme. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll play it for you right now here, I'll, actually, I'll play a quick, uh, a quick clip. Well, actually, it turns out I can't play a video clip, but that's what it looks like right there. The first theme was, uh, Captain Price in, in like, the chopper at the beginning of, the beginning of that mission on the boat, uh. I always say that mission on the boat, and somebody, somebody right now is probably killing me for not knowing the name of it. Yeah, Crew Expendable, Crew Expendable, I got it. But yeah, that's what the first theme is about. And then this, the second theme is just, uh, the main theme, I mean, maybe it's just because it's something different. I've been sitting with the same one for like five months. But it's def I'm, I'm definitely happy with what I got already, because I'm able to switch between them if I get sick of one of them. It's got different music, different look and everything. So yeah, that was pretty cool. And then, as well with that, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna be getting ten rare supply drops on like the 14th or something like that. That's a whole prestige worth right there. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend them just because I I got a pretty good feeling that with that uh, with that DLC pack more guns are coming. So I'm definitely gonna try to hit uh, prestige seven by that time. So that way I can like go max stacking out ready for these things. And a lot of people uh, I don't know a lot of YouTubers I've seen. Like White Boy Seven Street and all, uh, not to call him out specifically, but yeah, guys like him, pretty much just YouTubers who uh, play the original. They uh, they all think that the camos and everything they're going too far, you know, like they're ruining this game with it. But I mean, so far I've been on this game for a while since the new guns and everything dropped, since the supply drops dropped, conveniently, and it hasn't been really, it hasn't been too bad, just the way I've been doing it. Cause uh, you earn at a pretty good rate. I mean, you you earn like 200 par parts on average, 200 parts for each and every supply drop. Uh, at least uh, I don't know. At least I do. I mean, once you guys start getting a, a lot of duplicates, then you will as well. I'll tell you that much right now. But yeah, you earn stuff pretty quick, and then it's all cosmetic. It barely affects anything. And uh, sure, there's some guns and all that stuff, some melee weapons. But I mean, I barely even see that stuff. I mean, maybe XMLAR, I see. I see most often the thing. Oh, that, that, look at that wall bang right there. That was, that was freaking epic. And yeah, I mean, freaking uh, uh, the weapons aren't really that big a deal. Like I see, I run across a, a DLC weapon. I get killed by it like once in every six or seven games, and maybe maybe XMLR a bit more often than that. The thing with XMLR is though. It's just basically M4 carbine with a little more damage, if you, if you really think about it. And and maybe some different aesthetics. That's basically what the gun is. It's, it's pretty much uh, it's pretty much just a reskin of the M4 with some more damage. And I, I don't blame you guys for getting pissed off at them adding guns. I got pissed off too. But I mean, I've just come to accept it. And this is probably the best Call of Duty supply drop system we're ever going to get from now going forward. I mean, you could go... You could go play the original COD 4 or Black Ops 2 or one of the older games. It didn't have supply drops, but the thing is, they got hackers now. So that's just terrible. I mean, I was thinking about buying MW2 since uh, since I, I barely played it back in the day. I played a little bit, but I never really got into it. And I, I was thinking about picking it up, but I, I looked online. There's so many hackers on that game. Like, it's ridiculous. You got four or five hackers each and every lobby all trying to, all trying to use aimbot and everything. And if there's no hackers, then there's a guy with one-man army uh, grenade launcher. It's just, uh, it's just you can't even go back to the old games anymore. They're tainted by the community. I mean, maybe, uh, maybe something like Black Ops 3, but that's not even an old game. Uh, I mean, you can still play that without the hackers, and it's pretty fun. It's just not, it's not quite as good as some of the older CODs were, in my opinion. Like, you'll never be able to go play Black Ops 2 the same as you were in 2013, 2012 when it first came out. And I mean, I just, uh, I just kinda, kinda upset about that. I mean, there's no real prime Call of Duty anymore, but this is the best we're getting. I tell you right now, this is probably the best we're gonna get. And, what? What? Oh, you see? You see? You guys seen that? 
Uh, I was about to. I was gonna shoot the guy in the head for uh, for my M48 three headshot, and the uh, the teammate just straight up swept the kill from me. Uh, that sucks right there. But uh, yeah, this, uh, this commentary is just about coming to a close. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, gameplay commentary. Hope you're able to pick up that uh, that variety map pack yourself. I'm definitely going to be giving it a review as well as giving this game a review itself probably at some point. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.